wins a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. The length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second placed house. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the Bonus Bean Room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beans. Harry, there you are. Glad I found you. Hello, Wood. Time for Quidditch practice, Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. Would you be interested in... What do you have? I have a silver wizard card. Guaranteed not to tarnish. <laughs> Thank you, Harry. We value your patronage. I haven't got anything to trade at the moment. Come back later when I've had a chance to replenish my stock. Hey, Harry. Want to trade? We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. Hey, Harry. What do you have? I have a Nimbus 2001. The best model available to the general public. Suit yourself. Don't know when I'll have these again, though. Listen up, Harry. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our Seeker to catch the Golden Snitch before the enemy Seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw up a Snitch for you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds easy enough? Alright then. You can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up and down. The Nimbus 2001 gives you much needed speed. If you have enough beans, you can buy Quidditch upgrades from Fred and George. That's it Harry, stay right on the snitch, you've almost got it. 
Now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here, let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the Bludgers and the other Seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy Seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the Snitch. Don't worry, they'll take it easy on you. automatically close in on the snitch. Quidditch armor will help soften blows during the match. Remember, Harry, do not put your hand out till the enemy seeker is out of the way. Quidditch is a rock. That's it, Harry. Give them a good nudge so you can catch the snitch. Excellent work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance of winning the cup this year. Aren't you finished yet, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes the Slytherin team. I don't believe it. I booked the pitch for today. Hey, they've got new brooms and, and it looks like... Yes, they are. They're Nimbus 2001s. Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin Seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. You pay for that one, Malfoy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley, unlike you. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. Mudblood. The nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. class with Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow me. Ugh. This leads to the dungeons. Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A Wigan Weld Potion will restore some of your lost stamina. 
even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld potion, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. Now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion. I don't want it contaminated. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wiganweld potion. To drink the potion, press spacebar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wiganweld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wiganweld potions can be made. And the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flubberworm mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snake comes out. that? What was what? That voice! It was coming from over there! Come on! What's going on? <sighs> Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on a wall. Rumors and speculations spread. <laughs>